The federal government on Monday in Abuja inaugurated a 17-man implementation committee on community safety and human security to strategize ways to reduce crimes and violence in the country. It was launched at the initiative in collaboration with Risk and Accidental Prevention Society of Nigeria, RAPSIN, a non-governmental organization is to work as multi-sectoral stakeholders to provide a platform for all tiers of government to improve grassroots security network. Inaugurating the committee, Dr. George Akume, the Minister of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs, explained that the primary objective of the committee was to strategize for community safety and human security programs. Akube said the idea was for integrated approach among the network of stakeholders, looking at the levels of violence, crimes, and conflicts, and to ensure lasting responses to contemporary security challenges in the country. He said, today's event is apt as all relevant security institutions and stakeholders in the evolving contemporary security management institutions have been brought together to work from grassroots level with non-state actors. This is to expand the narratives and intelligence towards community safety. First, at the local level, which in most instances act as a springboard for all major violence and conflicts that escalates to national acrimony. He added that the program was also designed to generate more than 30,000 jobs for the youth and create skilled manpower for more than 50,000 women across the nation. He said, as noted in the United Nations General Assembly Resolution 66 over 290, human security is an approach to assist member states in identifying and addressing widespread and cross-cutting challenges to the survival, livelihood, and dignity of the people. Therefore, the committee stands as a greater chance to benefit from the United Nations, the UNTFHS, which is accessible by all member states, including Nigeria. Akuma listed some of the committee's responsibilities to include designing strategies and developing standard operating procedure for implementation of community safety strengthening inter-community relations, build improved community resilience, among others. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I said, well, the federal government has inaugurated a 17-man committee to tackle the insecurity in the country. Well, is this um, a better idea or best idea so far? Inaugurating a 17-man committee, well, it is what it is. One would ask what exactly is the duties or function in this particular situation, as it were. Well, among others, it has been said that they would uh, design uh, strategies, framework, and uh, reach out to people at the local level probably more of sensitizing, more of um, reaching out to people and uh, educating people may just be what they are to do. But however, inaugurating a committee might not just be the best, but enforcing the already laws that are put in place because this issue needs to be dealt with strategically and intentionally. 
laws are already on ground and in place for all the so-called uh, is insecurity activities. But enforcing the laws is where we have issues in the country because those who are empowered by the law and the constitution to enforce this particular laws are not doing enough or they are sentimental about their jobs. They are not doing the need for and that alone or in itself has affected uh, has made things to go out of hand. They must, as a matter of importance and urgency, rise up to the challenge of their duties and ensure that they meet the necessary requirements and do the needful. Because they cannot continue to abscond for their duty or abdicate their duties to other people. For example, kidnapping, there are laws against it. Armed robbery, there are laws against it. Raping, there are laws against it. But the question is, are these laws being enforced? Of course, no. And that is where the federal government needs to come in and ensure that these laws are enforced. Recently, the presidency was saying that the headsmen who commit criminal activities have been have been arrested and prosecuted. The question is where? There are no records anywhere. Where are they being prosecuted? In what court of law? Who has seen it? What are they being prosecuted for? Of course, nothing. So the time has come whereby the government will not just continue to uh, inaugurate committees, spend money on committees, and at the end of the day, nothing is being done. Nothing has been achieved. We are back to square one. But funds have been expended. Money has been wasted. So we need to channel our resources, even in this critical time where you know the economy has suffered and the country is in recession. We need to channel our activities carefully, intentionally to the right uh, quarters so as to optimize the best results that we can get to help deal with the situations that are that they are meant to deal with. Well, if it's a, the uh, committee that has been inaugurated, you know, have the right and the power to quell this, the DAO's detention in the country, why not? Would appreciate them and there is a welcome development. But personally, I do not think this is the best move that uh, the president should make. But it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I will see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.